Hi everyone, Micah here from Uptop Overland. This video goes over the infield fix on installing the new feet to a pre-existing Nissan Xterra roof rack. Before you begin to install the new kit that we ship to you, you need to remove the existing foot marked front front, which is the, the forward most foot attached to the load bar at the front of your roof rack. You're going to need to gain access to these holes at the front of the vehicle. So if you locate the drip rail, and I'm on the driver's side here, but if you locate the drip rail and then follow down this line, there are three holes uh, to the outside of the vehicle. Now on the interior, there's one here, one over on the other side, and at the front by the windshield, there are four bolts that you're not going to use. Go ahead and fill those with silicone and just put the, uh, the existing bolts that come in your kit just to seal those up so you don't get any moisture into the interior of the vehicle. You're going to start by placing this riser right here in the, the place where it, it'll align to these slots across here. Leave this bolt out temporarily at the front. You're going to remove the bolts, do this one side at a time, and you're going to remove the bolts on this and this load bar and pick it up and you're going to install that threaded slide insert, you're going to put one back here on the driver's side and then slide it through on the passenger's, uh, on the front of the load bar to send it over to the passenger side over there. On the front load bar, you're going to take these two bolts out, lift this load bar up and you're going to install the threaded insert that's two holes and put both of them on the front leading slot of this load bar. One's going to sit over here, you're going to push the other one to the other side and then put these bolts back in. Go ahead and put the Loctite on the black hardware that comes for your load bar clamp. That's the smaller hardware that's going to align to the uh, threaded insert that you've got in the load bar right here and right here on both sides. That VC3 thread locker, you need to put that on and let that cure for 15-20 minutes. Let it get dry to the touch before you put it in. Do not install it wet. Once it's ready to put in, go ahead and install it into here. Use a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench and start all the hardware, but don't fully tighten it. You still want to be able to slide this back and forth. Next, you're going to put this channel piece down in. They are driver passenger side specific, and when you set them down, the way you'll know is the angle on this, if I can get to the front of it here, the angle on this foot should lean to the inside of the vehicle on the driver's side, as well as the passenger side, and it has a little kick on it, a tongue at the front that also points towards the inside of the vehicle. Um, they're designed, they won't fit to, to go on the wrong side, just make sure that you try and put them on the right side because once you have that silicone sealant down, it's going to be a little difficult to move that hardware around. So once you get this in place, line up your bolts and fender washers to those slots, put in this bolt and this bolt and snug them, don't tighten it down, you should be able to move the foot at that point. Then you're going to install the hardware here that goes from this foot to this clamp and get that in place. So next, start the hardware here, put this bracket and align it to the slot over top of this bracket here and start that third bolt. At that point you should have this piece attached to the truck, you should have the load bar clamp in, this hardware is in place, you have the bolts here. One thing that's important to mention is that this back bracket is 3 16 of an inch so it won't have a lock washer. But up here at the front, this bracket is 8th inch, so you'll have your bolt, lock washer, and flat washer. Once you have all that situated and all that hardware started, tighten these three bolts first to pull everything down to the roof, then tighten these two bolts, finally these three, and then tighten these two bolts. That's the order that you go. So you, you mount this permanently, then you mount this one, then this one, and then that, and then repeat the process on the other side. So you can discard that original foot, you won't need that anymore, just throw it in the trash. Once the new foot system is installed at the front of the rack on both sides, you'll see a huge difference in the rigidity across the front of the vehicle. You don't have to modify the, the feet going towards the rear. Those are going to stay in the same factory locations. Um, but if you watch here, when we pull on this, we can move the entire vehicle from here with almost no flex from the roof rack itself. So complete that upgrade and you guys will be ready to rock and roll.